what's up everyone I'm back with uh, a brand new game today called excuse me um, survival quiz city it is pretty much like a battle royale game but the twist is you have to solve quizzes to progress um, I want to shout out give a shout out to stride PR for providing the code the steam key and I will also be doing a giveaway today on stream uh, they gave me extra codes to give away so if anyone's interested in the game then uh, we'll set up a giveaway at some point during the stream let me turn that on all right so we're gonna see the game looks like a lot of fun so hoping that it is all right, so we'll head into the tutorial first and see how how the game plays Oh, it's quite a few tutorials. Okay, Do a quiz tutorial in Alcatra Alcatraz. All right, forward, back, left, right. B is a dash. Players are divided into winning and losing teams based on their answer, with the losers forced to compete against none other. Uh, pretty sure that's supposed to say one another. Um, one another in a wild race for survival. Now come on down the thrill of, of victory and the agony of defeat await in Survival Quiz City. Alright. So A is to jump. Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Survival Quiz City. Players answer a quiz at the start of each round, the results of which divide them into winning and losing teams. Then it's on to the action course where the winning and losing teams battle it out. There are many different types of quizzes. Knowledge is power, but understanding the, the question format is just as important. Read about the different qu quiz types just ahead. A qu pop quiz is a quiz that requires you to get the set number of questions correct faster than rival players. Incorrect answers prevent you from answering a few... I'm on the wrong thing. Oops. All right. All right. A quiz that requires you. Yep, yep, yep. Incorrect answers prevent you from answering for a few seconds, meaning it'll take more time to answer all the questions. Speed and accuracy are key. All right. We have dash quiz. A quiz where you must reach the correct answer panel faster than your rivals. If you can't make it to the correct panel in time, you'll join the losing team. Buzzer quiz. Contestants that answer the fastest will join the winning team. However, if even if you answer correctly, if you're slower than the other players, you may end up on the losing team. Association quiz. A quiz where you can where you select the answer from four phases, phrases displayed in order. Players who answer the fastest join the winning team. Even if you choose the right answer, you may end up in the losing team if you take too long. All right, I have to keep that in mind. Even the losing team has a chance to win. Take on the action stage and make it to the goal to move on the next onto the next round. Meanwhile, the winning team will wield a wide variety of weapons to keep the losing team from their goal. All right. Okay. Taking the concept so far. So we'll head on to the winning team tutorial. The winning team uses weapons to hinder the, the losing team from advancing on the action course. Alright, gotta grab my arsenal. Grab a weapon. Ooh, got the machine gun. Okay. Hi, Mono. Welcome to the stream. Sorry you couldn't join me, but if you get enough people to play, then we can definitely do um, some custom games. Powerful weapons are stored in, the, and let me know how the volume is, by the way. Uh, you can access these arsenals by purchasing keys during the shopping time available after each round. Okay. Oh, that bumped me back. It's all right. I'm game game to watch. All right, cool. 
Hover o hover your inventory cursor over a weapon or items to use it. That will be... Oh, I only picked up one weapon. Oops. Audio seems good to me. Alright, thank you. Try attacking the members of the losing team. Landing an attack will also earn you coins. Okay. Aiming seems fine. I mean, they also have the little laser sight. So that helps. Oh, and you can aim too. Okay. Access to reload. Once you use all your ammo, your weapon will autom reload automatically. Alright. The three members of the losing team with the most coins have first, second, and third displayed above their heads. Landing hits on these players grants more coins than normal. Ooh, okay. Money, money. Ah, okay, right. <laughs> I, this game feels like it's going to be so chaotic. Get extra coins for bla from blast bonuses when you knock members off the losing of the losing team off the course. You will also get a kill bonus if they fail their return jump. A chance quiz triggers when the chance gauge fills completely. So much chaos, exactly. Answering this question correctly puts you in chance time and temporarily powers you up. Chance time for the winning team grants infinite ammo. Ooh. They shout attacks without having to worry about reloading. Okay, obviously, I have to wait to the full game. Chance gauge fills over time when you whenever you land attacks. LB is true, RB is false. Okay, good to know. It's a pretty cool concept. The losing team braves the action course, dodging attacks from the winning team and trying to survive all the way to the goal. Coins are scattered throughout the action course. Large coins can be found in unexpected places. So keep an eye out. All right. So you can't hold down the dash button. Like you gotta press it once and press it again. But you do have to watch the meter. Press A to jump. Take a look around the course. You should spot an arrow pointing you toward the goal. Check the floors, yep. You'll be penalized if you can't make it to the end of the action course within the time limit. Oh, okay. Survival mode elimination becomes a spectator. Bounty hunter mode, you lose all coins. Ooh. This looks like it'll be fun so far. It does! I'm glad I saw that trailer on YouTube. Whoever... Oh, I think it was the Lurkit website that um, retweeted it. Wait, what did it say? Survey the course to find a save route and s save time to dodge attacks. Climb that wall. Okay, R2 is climb. Okay. You can make your way up slopes by crawling on them. Oh, dang. <laughs> like I'm at boot camp. Attacks don't knock you as far when you're crawling. Remember this when you're in danger of being knocked off a narrow path. So you got machine guns and bombs. Chance quiz triggers. All right, you saw that one already. Chance time for the losing team fully recovers your stamina and doubles your total stamina. Use that stamina boost to climb even the highest walls. Okay. A 
I just hope the quizzes don't whoop my butt. <laughs> Shopping tutorial. Shopping time begins at the end of each round. Purchase items to power up your GR. I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Hit the shops to give yourself an edge in subsequent rounds. Pick up the money in your path, then head to the commoner shop. Ooh, I'm rich. I probably don't even need this much, but I'm gonna take all of it anyway. Oh yeah, it just keeps respawning. <laughs> you can buy various items, okay. Fluffy ears, increases falling speed. Oh, Fallen Speed will slightly decrease when blasted away. Okay. Stamina recovery rate will slightly... This is cool. I like this. It's like they took the Fallout pre-mice and added their own stuff to it. Because it's, it's, you know, make it stand out. You can enter the high-grade shop and high-grade arsenal. Ooh, landmines. That's... Oh, so you can, I guess, put down traps even for, like, um, well, I guess even when you're on the losing team. And bombs. All right. So even, oh, okay, cool. There's a lot to this game. Oh, this is a high-grade shop. Ooh, what they got here? You reduce the quiz choices to three. Big fluffy ears. High grade reload, ammo, glasses. All right. A banana. <laughs> I guess this is for tripping people like a Mario Kart. It's, yes, it is. The high grade key and legendary key gives you access to high grade and legendary arsenals. Try to buy these keys if you want stronger weapons when you're on the winning team. If you're low on funds, join shopping time. Try using the super candy machine. This machine gives once per game bonus funds. Oh, it gave, okay. I mean, I had money anyway, but. Gimmick? Oh, there's gimmicks for the stages, okay. Oh yes, of course it's not going to be easy. The stages aren't going to be easy. Check the course's gimmicks before starting the game. Knowing the course's gimmicks ahead of time ups your chances of survival. Running into this rotating bar will send you flying, so I will not do that. Floors that move along a set route. Keep an eye on the path and hop on the on at the right time. A floor that rotates. Stand on top for too long and you'll slide right off. So get off quickly. All right. Tramp. Oh, trampolines. Ooh. Press the button to move the wall indicated by the arrow. These walls will return to the original position when you stop pressing the button. So try using something to hold the button down. Oh wow. There's a lot to this. Okay. It's not going to be just simple running and jumping. And you get coins for doing this too. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Nico's defense machine that flies along a set path. Running into one will send you flying. Oh. <laughs> Seems simple enough, but when a whole bunch of other players are running alongside me, it's probably a lot harder to dodge those. Alright, one last tutorial and then it's on to the main game. 
Floors that incline toward the side with more weight. Making players slide off when angled. Move back and forth to keep her. Okay. Nico balls are fired at set intervals which explode on impact, sending players flying. Ooh, gotta be cautious of that. Floor is that oh that face oh my god <laughs> what floors that crumble when you stand on them for too long hop onto the next platform before it crumbles walls and floors that can be broken by the winning team's attacks okay broken walls and floors regenerate over time but they can still slow you down try to find a safe path the face is cursed model definitely Or is that move in the direction of the arrows? Okay. A gate blocking the way to the goal and a key to open it. Search for the hidden key to proceed. Oh, I guess I gotta climb this. Alright. That's it for the tutorials, all of them.